Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. The texts say that Inquisitor Omeridan was a dragon hunter who vanished on his last expedition. Yes, precisely. I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chantry. Inquisitor Omeridan stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history if it means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. How can we help you find Inquisitor Emeridan's resting place? Your scouts have gathered artifacts from the area. They may help us discover what Inquisitor Emeridan was doing. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning, merciless, and know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid our men will not be able to hold out long. I thought we could catch up. Anytime, Inquisitor. Have you spoken to Kenrick much? A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. I <laughs> can't stop doing it now. <laughs> it's too funny. How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfisher poo. The stuff's vile. It makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. Ugh. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. The commander would never go for it. He's too dignified. You mean uptight? Sorry. Don't tell him I said that. What are your thoughts about our progress against Corypheus? The commander thinks we're as ready as we'll ever be, and that we should strike soon. I don't know what's gonna happen after. One step at a time. That's the only way to take this. They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn to fight, draw a bow, all that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts and what takes him down quick. Bruised a shin or two in my day, and a few, you know, other things. <laughs> and archery? Oh, there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> on squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded arrows. I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. It's just, I just want them to be safe. And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. What do you think about the Ava? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close? It's nothing like I thought. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. They'd be unstoppable. We'll continue this another time. See you soon, Inquisitor.
workers are almost done building a lift to the deep roads. No dark spawn trouble yet, but the earthquakes have been brutal. I was told to meet a shape of Volta. She's waiting below. You won't see an Orzammar dwarf on the surface. They have rules about that. From your tone, I'd guess Orzammar isn't your favorite place. I don't have an opinion. Cloud gazers like me aren't allowed in the city. The lift's ready for you. the edge. It's a long way down. <laughs> is it me, or is this the slowest lift ever constructed? It's better than climbing down. I could do with some music. Something with a flute. We should be wary of Roy Lyrium. I'm more worried about finding Darkspawn. <laughs> Neither is a pleasing prospect. Dwarves cannot dream, yet they devise the most fascinating inventions. Not all ideas come from the Fade. True. But these designs must be inspired by something. will not be forgotten. You must be Shaper Volta. A trust Valar, Inquisitor. The Shaper, it welcomes you to the Deep Roads. You look as though you're hiding from something. As a citizen of Orzammar, even a glimpse of your sky could cost me my position and render me castless. What does a Shaper do, exactly? We chronicle the life and times of our people. You're historians. Also scholars and genealogists. Shapers preserve knowledge in the memories, an archive in Orzammar. We record memories in Lyrium to ensure they never fade. We must be meticulous in every detail. A difficult task. How many dwarves have you lost? More than we can count. The mining caste has suffered greatly. Our situation has worsened since we contacted Skyhold. The quakes collapsed this mine and shattered a seal, keeping the darkspawn at bay. The Legion of the Dead hasn't been able to mend the broken seal, and we can't afford to lose any more lyrium. I've read about the Legion of the Dead. Dwarves who fight darkspawn in service to Orzammar. They commit their lives to the cause and celebrate their own funerals before entering the Deep Roads. No matter their sins in life, the Legion die noble deaths. What will happen if we lose more Lyrium mines? The surface needs Lyrium for all sorts of magic. The Inquisition more than most, I understand. And Orzammar's economy relies on the Lyrium trade. Without it, there will be chaos above and below. Orzammar deals with Darkspawn all the time. Why request the Inquisition's help? The Legion isn't prepared for this level of disaster. And the Grey Wardens haven't answered our calls for aid. Any threat to the flow of Lyrium requires immediate response. The Inquisition is the only force we can rely upon. There's no time to waste. Take me to the Legion. Apologies for pushing you. I fear the damage that Tremor caused. Follow me to the Legion camp. 